What's up guys, Nathan here. I love Path of Exile, but let's be honest, this game is far from perfect. And as much as I've been enjoying Synthesis, I think there are some significant issues with this league, so I wanted to give some feedback. Just to warn you though, I'll be engaging in some pretty heavy-handed armchair game development, and my suggestions may not be the best for the economy or overall health of the game, but I wanted to at least bring attention to the key issues that I think are preventing this league from being amazing. So, here are my top 4 major problems with Synthesis, and since mindless complaining never solved anything, my proposed solutions to fix them. Problem 1. Decaying memories suck. When you interact with a memory, it can either be stable or unstable. As you probably know, the former is laid back and easy to deal with, while the latter is a race against time and RNG. As far as initially encountering memories go, I'm fine with them being unstable. If you're mapping, you probably want to rush through them as quickly as possible anyway, and the punishment for stepping out of bounds or going too slow is simply that you don't obtain that specific memory. But when you're in the Nexus, trying desperately to reach a memory modifier or get the most out of a memory chain, they feel horrible. Adding to this, if you get yourself in a high pressure situation where you have 20 mods on a tile, you need to get to the other side, and the layout happens to be one of the many shitty indoor ones, well, that's just a recipe for disappointment when you don't kill as many mobs as you would have liked, or a broken monitor if you manage to get caught in the decay. Solution. Memories in the Nexus should never become unstable. I'm not saying memories shouldn't expire, because that would just be stupid. What I am saying is that once you've gone to the trouble of acquiring, planning around, and placing a memory tile, you shouldn't have to rush through it. When they run out, they should disappear, just like they do now. The overall planning and complexity of the Nexus system wouldn't be touched by this at all, it would just make it easier to focus on planning your routes as well as claim the rewards you worked so hard to put in place. Problem 2. Pathing around the Nexus is too complicated. For most folks, this is a pretty common opinion. While stabilizing and gathering memory tiles is fairly straightforward and easy, making actual use of them in the Nexus seems to be unnecessarily complicated. In fact, before Ziggy D made his video explaining the Nexus mechanics, most people were just inefficiently chasing reward tiles. Now, thanks to said Ziggy D, most of us actually understand the best way to profit from the Nexus. Form a long chain of memories, spend some time seeking out memory modifiers with different chains, then eventually running that initial chain to reap some solid rewards. The problem here is that it's never that simple. Between having to micromanage the chains you create, avoid failing decaying memories, and not get fucked by RNG tile spawns, it's surprisingly easy for things not to go as planned. Plus, even when your hard work finally pays off and you find yourself running a crazy memory chain with 20 plus mods on each tile, it doesn't feel all that rewarding. Maybe I'm missing something here, but the most hype rewards I've received are a bunch of Cheula Breach Splinters, and even then, it seems like the market has already adjusted to this new influx of supply. Solution. Make memory modifiers global. One thing that initially confused me about memory modifiers is that they only affected tiles they were linked to. Well, that's going to be tedious to play around, I thought to myself, and so it is. In fact, not to wear my tinfoil hat too tightly, but if you look closely at the initial trailer for Synthesis, you can clearly see a global mods box in the top left hand corner of the Nexus menu, with new mods being added with the simple addition of a new tile. I don't know if this feature was removed in the interest of giving GGG's servers a break or to prevent rewards from getting too out of hand, but I think simply making the memory modifiers you collect affect your entire Nexus would do an excellent job of cutting down on complexity, allowing for more frequent use of the Nexus, and making the league mechanic more rewarding overall. Problem 3. Synthesizing items is cancer. Maybe I only hold this opinion because I'm a fairly average player in terms of how quickly I progress and how much I focus on gaining currency, but to me, the whole implicit crafting system seems fucked. For those of you that don't know, the way synthesizing new items works is as follows. You look at this data mine of all the possible implicits, pick one you want, gather up fractured items with the correct base type and mods needed to create your desired item, then you drop them in the synthesizer and pass go. 
I'm not going to go into detail about how you determine what fractured items you need to successfully synthesize the item you want, but I'll be linking a Reddit thread below that explains the process thoroughly. To sum it up, the requirements are fucking ridiculous, and unless we are all very wrong about how synthesizing works, no average player will ever be able to afford a decent synthesized item. Solution. Remove 75% of the implicit pool. Okay, so maybe I'm exaggerating, but part of the reason why targeting the implicit you want is so frustrating is because there are just so many opportunities for shit results. For example, say I want to craft a pair of boots with plus one to maximum endurance charges. Not only do I need three pairs of boots with strength rolls on them, ideally as fractured mods, with at least one of them being high eye level for further crafting, and all of them being acceptable base types, but the total strength between them needs to be over 160, which in case you're curious, is a fuck ton. This isn't even getting into the possibility of adding a second or third implicit, which is borderline inconceivable. In fact, let's take a look at how many of these bad boys exist in softcore synthesis right now. Oh, what do you know? Literally none. By eliminating most of the possible mods from the current pool, this insanity would be quelled to reasonable standards. Sure, 2 and 3 implicit mod items would still be challenging to craft, but my plus 1 maximum endurance charge boots wouldn't require crazy rolls just to not end up as plus 19 strength synthesized trash. Damn! Problem 4. PoE in general is kind of a hot mess right now. Don't get me wrong, it's a hot mess I love, and maybe I'm just not used to the core master system yet, but it feels like the game could really use some polishing. For example, Betrayal feels like it was implemented in a ham-fisted, almost rushed way. Unveiling mods is tedious, Katarina takes way too long to unlock, and apparently many people's PCs just can't handle intervention spawns. I could also pick on Synthesis for its bugginess and general inconsistency, but I feel like that's beating a dead horse. Even solid mechanics like Incursion and Delve could use some TLC. Maybe by having less temple rooms be completely useless, or giving ultra deep delvers easier ways to gain soul fight. Solution. Take a league off to polish the game. I know this probably sounds like heresy to the general player base and a horrible business move to Tencent, but I really think taking 3 extra months to thoroughly fix, upgrade, and clean up all the league mechanics currently in the game would go a long way towards benefiting its longevity and overall health. Hopefully, Path of Exile's 4.0 Mega Expansion will do just this. We don't have any definitive information about 4.0, aside from the fact that it's coming sometime during 2020, and that the Exile ticket page is covered in spooky key art that may or may not be related to it. Anyway, those are my four major problems with this league, as well as my proposed solutions to fixing them. Let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree, and as always, this has been Nathan, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you! Thanks again for checking out my video, and I wanted to thank my Patreon supporters, who consist of Real Human, Pete, Zikarak, Squally, Zoljan, Coda, Julia, and Alan. If any of you are interested in supporting me on Patreon, you can check me out at patreon.com slash NathanBrotherBob, and my Discord should also be there. It's, it's not here right now. I guess I'll have to cut that in. I don't know why it's not there, but that'll be there. So you can go join the Discord if you want to hang out and talk about Path of Exile or other games or just, uh, you know, need moral support for life. You know, that's what we're here for. That's what the Discord's there for. So feel free to check that out. And also feel free to subscribe because this week was kind of just a complainy video, but next week is going to be a Winter Orb guide. So that should be a lot more interesting for people that actually just want to hear about PoE content, not meta content like this shit. Anyway, thanks again. Have a good one.